Hi guys, welcome back to this channel. Thanks for stopping by and watching our previous video about the best survival anime. Before we begin, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest video. Here's the list of the best survival anime part 2 and enjoy watching. Number 10 is Terraformers. Terraformers is a Japanese manga series written by Yu Sasuga and illustrated by Kanichi Tachibana, which began to released in the Shueisha's Weekly Young Jump magazine since 2011. Then, the animation with the Alpha format was released in 2014, approaching the story in the box to arc. In 2014, an animated television series was made in fall 2014, with 13 episodes in total, covering the Annex 1 arc. A spin-off manga titled Terra Vopolis also started in 2014 in Jump X. This anime is quite unique, which takes the theme of a mutated insect in fashion. It tells a story about mankind attempting to cut Mars. All begins in the 21st century, when scientists are tasked with terraforming the planet. Their goal is to see the planet with modified algae to absorb sunlight and purify the atmosphere. The tragedy begins when 500 years later have passed since the event. The first man to ship to Mars lands and its six crew members are attacked by giant mutated humanoid cockroaches with incredible physical strength, later labeled terraformers. The crew is removed after sending a warning back to Earth. Two years later, Box 2, a multinational expedition of genetically modified human, is sent to collect several samples of the sex of cockroaches and exterminate the mutated insects to control the planet. Number 9 is The Lost Village. The Lost Village is a Japanese anime television series produced by Dia Media, directed by Satomu Mishushima and written by Mari Akada, with character designs by Naomi Ida and music by Masaru Yokoyama. The series began airing in April of Spring 2016 and finished airing in June 2016, with 12 episodes in total. The story begins when a group of men and women are on a tour to Noneki Village, a village with a very famous urban legend, a place where one can start over and live life to the fullest. Although many have different ideas about why the village can't be found on a map or why the police can't even determine its location, they each seek to their new life and what awaits them once they reach their destination. Shut after several incidents, they finally find the village and the fact that a village has no inhabitants and seems to be left in a state of disrepair. With the missing of several people, in the midst of confusion they must survive and discover the truth behind this lost village. Number 8 is King of Thorn. King of Thorn is an adaptation of a Japanese manga written and illustrated by Yuchi Wahara, which in her brain became published in Seinen magazine monthly comic between 2002 and 2005, collected in six bound volumes. King of Thorn itself is a movie produced by Sunrise Studio, released in October 2009. The story begins when a deadly virus known as Medusa begins to be an epidemic around the world. Those who survive and run away from this deadly virus are chosen to be put to sleep in a sleeping capsule, hoping for a cure in the future. Starting with a girl named Kazumi Ishiki, a part of hundreds of people put to sleep in a sleeping capsule. But unexpected things happen and they all have to survive in a destroyed world and filled with monster threats. Number 7 is Magical Girl Rising Project. Magical Girl Rising Project is an anime adapted from a Japanese light novel series written by Asari Ando and illustrated by Maruino. Then Takaru Jimashia has published nine volumes since 2012 under Kono light novel Gasugoi. A manga adaptation was released by Pochi Adoya published in Kadokawa Shoten's Come Ace magazine between 2014 and 2015. And an anime adaptation was made in fall 2016 with 12 episodes in total. Starting from a game called Magical Girl Rising Project, a very popular game providing an opportunity for players to become a magical girl in real life. Each magical girl possesses unique skills and special abilities and earns magical candy by protecting people and performing good deeds. However, at some point, the government has decided that 16 magical girls in a certain city is too many, 
announcing they will cut the number in half by having the magician girl with the least amount of magical candy each week lose that power. As the world is out of control, the girls end up finding themselves dragged into a life or death battle against each other. Number 6 is King's Game King's Game is an anime television series adaptation of the mobile novel Oama Game and its sequel, King's Game Extreme. The anime began to be animated by Seven as the main studio and began airing in fall 2017 with 12 episodes in total. The story begins with a young man named Nobuaki Konozawa, who is known for his antisocial behavior. But his behavior has a reason when his class receives a message from a person known as the king. The message includes orders for playing king's game, and all class members must participate. It's an obligation. If those refuse to play, stop halfway, or not follow orders within the 24 hours stipulated time, they'll receive a death penalty. When orders get more extreme and their lives at stake, this is a game of life and death. Number 5 is Seraph of the End Vampire Rain. Seraph of the End is an anime adaptation of the Japanese dark fantasy manga series written by Takaya Kagami and illustrated by Yamato Yamamoto, with a storyboard by Daisuke Furuya. This series was published in Jump Aski, Suecia in 2012. This series has received two anime adaptations, which aired in spring 2015 with 12 episodes in total and the second season aired in fall 2015 with 12 episodes in total. The story in the series itself is set in a world that will come to an end, with the existence of the human-made virus. This virus has destroyed the global population and only leaves children between the ages of 13. The disaster doesn't stop here, when everyone is going through chaos, it's at this time that a vampire begins to appear from the depths of the earth. Yuichiro Hyakuya, a young man part of the Vampire Extermination Unit, has a goal of taking revenge on vampires for the death of his family and reclaiming his best friend. Number 4 is Number 6. It was adapted from a Japanese light novel written by Atsuko Aseno and published by Kodansha in 9 volumes between 2003 and 2011. Then, a manga adaptation drawn by Hinoki Kino began serialization in the 2011 issue of Kodansha's Area magazine. Finally, in summer 2011, an anime adaptation was made by Pond Studio with 11 episodes in total. Time has passed and after several years, finally a war stopped and now humanity is taking refuge in some peaceful and perfect countries. At least it looks perfect on the surface. Everything starts running in reality until a young man named Xion meets a mysterious man. Xion himself is an elite resident of the state city number 6. In the end, together with a mysterious man named Nazumi, Xion finally gets a new perspective of the world where he has been living. Number 3 is Eden of the East. Eden of the East is a Japanese anime television series which premiered on Fuji TV's Noe Tamina on April 9, 2009. Created, directed, and written by Kenji Kamiyama, it features character designs by Chika Umino and animation production by Production IG. Based on Kamiyama's original story, this is the first original animation series to air on Noe Tamina. The story begins when missiles attack Japan, with a terrorist attack named Kailas Monday. Three months on, a university graduate, Seki Morami, visits the US for her graduation trip. During her trip, a friendly Seki is changed forever when she finds herself saved from unexpected troubles by Akira Takizawa. Takizawa is cheerful but strange in many ways, including being amnesia and believes he's a terrorist. Despite Takizawa's suspicious nature, Seki quickly befriends the enigmatic young man. However, unbeknownst to her, this is the beginning of a thrilling death game involving money, cell phones, and saving the world. Higashi no Eden tells of Saki's struggle to unravel the mystery behind her severe, while Takizawa himself battles other individuals armed with similar cell phones and retrieves memories that reveal a possible connection to events from the past month. Number 2 is Are You Lost? If previously it's all about tense anime, this time we have a list that makes it a little fresh, filled with young girls. 
Are You Lost Itself is an anime adapted from a Japanese magazine written by Kentaro Akamoto and illustrated by Rory Zagara, which has been serialized since 2017 in the Kodan Shazenin Magazine Weekly Young Magazine. It all starts when their plane crashes during a school trip. Four middle school girls, Homare, Asuka, Mutsu, and Shion, find themselves stranded on a remote island. Using the survival skills she gets from her father, starting from rock climbing, shooting, and building shelters, Homari helps the others to survive on the island as they try to make the best of their situation. Number 1 is Made in Abish. Made in Abish is an adaptation of the Japanese manga series written and illustrated by Akihito Tsukushi, which has been serialized online in Takeshiba's digital publication web Komigama since 2012 and has been collected in the 9 Tankabon volumes. Then, an anime television series adaptation by Kinema Citrus aired its first season from July 7 to September 29, 2017. The story follows a young orphan girl, Rico, who finds and befriends the humanite Robert Rage and descends with him to the titular Abish, which lives deep in the earth, in hopes of finding her mother. However, Various curses from the abyss have been waiting for Rico with various mysterious diseases potential to be fatal to her life. Well, that's the list of the best survival anime part 2. Is there any of your favorite anime on the list? If there is, write in the comment section below. Don't forget to like and share this video to your friends. Thank you so much for watching and see you guys on the next video. Bye!